Out in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, they have this really wonderful dip that they call Siquilpac, sometimes Ha Siquilpac. It's all Mayan, and it really refers to the fact that it's pumpkin seed dip that is seasoned with tomatoes, and we've got other things that are going to go in there, but I love this stuff. It's so easy to put out for people because I will tell you that they, they'll think it's hummus. It has a sort of hummus-like texture. But then when you know that it is packed with those very nutritious pumpkin seeds, you got a really special thing on your hands. Not to mention that the flavor is just really great. The first thing that I'm going to do is what they do in the Yucatan Peninsula so often is to roast vegetables. Now for this, I'm going to roast onion and I'm just going to cut it crosswise. I had a big onion here and all I need for this is just a small onion. So I'm going to use half of this large one here and the rounds of onion are going to go into a non-stick pan. If you don't have a non-stick pan to do this in, I recommend putting a piece of foil down there. It'll just make cleanup so much easier. We're dry roasting and concentrating flavors and adding that rustic quality that you only get from dry roasting. The other vegetable that's going to go in here is going to be tomatoes, but I'm going to suggest that you buy fire roasted tomatoes in a can. Um, you could usually count on them being full of flavor and you can't always count on your grocery store tomatoes being full of flavor. Now we've got pumpkin seeds here and pumpkin seeds, this is very interesting that in the last, I would say probably 10 years or so, pumpkin seeds already roasted and salted are everywhere. It's because everybody loves how nutritious they are. It used to, you had to buy the untoasted pumpkin seeds and then dry toast them in a pan and then salt them and go on with it. So Sikilpak is super easy to make now because you don't have to worry about doing any of the toasting of the pumpkin seeds. This will take a few minutes on each side. I want the onion to get soft but I want it to be blackened in places. I mean, really roasted. Okay, these are soft now and you can see that they've darkened. I'm gonna give them a rough chop here before we put them into the food processor. Of course, you could do this in a blender as well, but I want them to start getting into smaller pieces here so that they chop right along with everything else here. So I'm gonna scoop those guys right up over here. And next we'll go the fire roasted tomatoes. I'm gonna spoon out about half of this can of them. Some people in the Yucatan like to make this more uh, about the tomatoes. I like it to be mostly about the pumpkin seeds. So I put about half of this can in there. And then the pumpkin seeds will go in. We have my mock sour orange juice, sour oranges really the citrus of choice in the Yucatan, but we don't get them in the U.S. very often. So I combine lime juice and orange juice together. So I'm going to pour those two in here. That'll give a nice vibrancy to this. And now we're on to the habanero. Of course, I could have roasted an habanero over there with the onions and then chopped it up and put it in here. But I always have habanero hot sauce on hand. And so, and, and this is a very common brand and a really well-made brand, El Yucateco. Um, and you can find it at most Mexican grocery stores. I've even seen it in some other grocery stores that weren't specializing in Mexican ingredients. So you wanna put this in to suit your own taste. I would say two to three tablespoons of of it. It's not as hot as an habanero would be. And um, then I'm going to just pulse this until we get the right consistency. So I'll start off getting everything chopped by pulsing. I would even do this in a blender. And now I'm going to run it till it's the right consistency. Let's take a look at it now. 
the boy it smells so good the toastiness of everything that's in there it's still pretty coarse it's little, i need to put a little bit more time into this blending but it's also a little tiny bit thick for me so i'm going to add just a touch of water to it not very much because a little goes a long way <laughs> Now we have two other ingredients. Of course, we've got to taste this and season it with salt. It's going to need a little bit of salt here, though I will tell you that the citrus component in this and the acid in this hot sauce really do bolster everything beautifully. I think it'll take about that much. And then I'm going to add chopped cilantro. Now I didn't puree the cilantro in here with everything because I want to be able to see little flecks of it. So I'll take just a little bit of cilantro. We don't need too much for this here. Uh, but I'm going to turn under the top of this bunch and then cut crosswise to make a chiffonade to make a very thin slice of the cilantro stems and all and that should be about our quarter of a cup there then pulse this until the everything is mixed together and now it's ready to serve it's a very, very easy thing. I will tell you, this will last for a week or more in your refrigerator. Um, it's such a great thing to have on hand. You could use it for a spread for a sandwich if you like. Um, but I just like to serve it with chips. And to tell you the truth, at our restaurants, one of the most popular appetizers that we have it's called the half and half, half sikilpak, half guacamole. Maybe that's something you want to try too. Mm -hmm. 